I'm going to be honest right now. I just recorded like five minutes worth of video. And it wasn't recording. Like I was talking, I was being animated, and I never pressed record. Yeah, there is a carrot on that. Thank you, Phoenix. She gets it. Phoenix is my daughter. She's pretty great. So, back from the top. Now, see, I got all the crappy takes out of the way. So, this video, we are working on stencil art. No, I'm not Spider-Man. I wish. So, that's Navi from Legend of Zelda. Um, really tempted to put in big letters, hey, listen. I think that would be great. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, this is what I call my tattoo hoodie. I don't, I don't like tattoos. Other people, tattoos are great. Me, I can't get behind it. It's like agreeing to wear the same t-shirt for the rest of my life. And it's like, sure, the child from the Mandalorian t-shirt is real trendy right now. But in 10 years, not so trendy. However, if I have my tattoo hoodie and cover this thing up with all kinds of whatever I'm into at the time, if I don't want to wear it, I don't have to. I can get a new hoodie. So I was asking family, friends, suggestions for what 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 I should put next on my hoodie. I've got a handful of ideas floating around other things I might do in the future. But the the best idea came to me while I was playing Among Us with my family. Because my sister, one of many, but my sister had suggested that I do a dead body and one of the different imposters. And then the idea came to me like we were playing and I'm like, oh that looks great. Like, I have a genius idea. I'm going to do this. And I'll pop that up on screen. Hopefully I remember to do that. Obviously, I can't just cut out big circles on a piece of paper because then the paper will fall off. Like, that's not how stencils work. So I had to tweak it a little bit, and this is the final product. And, yeah, it's got all those little gaps in there, and that makes it so you can spray through it and it works um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my trusty where did i put it exacto knife and i'm going to cut out all the little gray parts cut them all out and then um because i'm cheap and i don't want to pay for like contact paper or anything vinyl to work with i i'm just going to use masking tape and just lay strips one after the other um overlapping on my trusty sheet of glass and so i'll cut out the stencil lay out the masking tape spray the stencil onto the masking tape and then cut it out on masking tape that way i can stick it onto my hoodie and it'll stay pretty much where i want it um and then cover up everything else with newspaper, what have you, and spray paint. And it should be pretty permanent design that looks good. So I'm going to cut to a time lapse of me cutting this bad boy out. Wish me luck.
Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> so, cut out the stencil, got it all holy. <laughs> um, now it's time to cover the glass with masking tape, overlapping, so you can peel it all up and then lay it down on the hoodie. All finished cutting out the stencil. Now what we're gonna do is very carefully peel it up and put it on the hoodie. It wasn't the easiest thing to get it transitioned over because a lot of the gaps and the rounded shapes I ended up having to tear out the center piece and then just put it back in. What I'll do is I'll cover the rest of it up with like newspaper or what have you and then spray paint the design on once it dries peel the tape off and then we should be done from there. All right, so all done spraying. I let it dry off and then I peeled the stencil off. And that's our end result. Well, that's all I got for you. See you guys next time.